Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk, Giordano Plastering. Today I had the opportunity to explain, and I get asked this question a lot online and by the telephone, what's the difference of cost and performance between an acrylic color finish and a cementitious color finish? Big difference. Okay, we just happen to be using a, an acrylic color coat today for this uh, big two-story house that we're doing. It's uh, the final process. I'll give you an example, guys. Okay, now a cementitious color finish, say whether or not it's La Habra, Western, Omega, and there's about 20 other ones. Are, the cementitious finishes are uh, much cheaper. Say, for example, uh, this particular product here is about anywhere between 50 to 70 bucks a pail, depending on who you buy and what, what material. If you buy the cementitious, they come in 194 pound sacks, and they're between 14 to 16 dollars a bag. You spread the same amount. So, cementitious products happen to be somewhat like uh, Jay's cracker that he has for lunch. When it moves or vibrates, it'll, it'll, it'll go a little bit, but too much, and it, it hairlines crack because the base coat hairlines cracks. Um, these particular finishes, the acrylic ones, such as, I mean, I'm using BMI, but there are 20 different brands. Uh, you can, they have the ability to go on and they're flexible. So when the house moves due to three months of rain, which lifts it and settles it, or just general banging on the house, doors and windows slamming, this flexes with it. But again, you're gonna pay four times more for the material and it's much harder for us. With the cementitious finishes over a base coat, we just hose or hydrate the walls and apply it. With this particular product, you should use a primer. Most companies don't, but a primer stops it from, say, absorbing too fast in the wall. And if you have a two-story wall, wall like the one we have here, we're a lot less likely to get scaffold joints. That's why we apply the primer number one, but it also is part of the warranty and it gives you better color coverage. Here are the finishes. I don't know if Jay could uh, zoom in a little bit. You have, I mean, there's 20 different finishes, just to prove a point. This is a fine finish. It's 2030, uh, which it spreads a lot further. We get about 18 yards when we spread this, whole yards. This particular uh, finish here is heavier, which uh, is a standard. Uh, we don't get as a wide a spread or as many uh, yards per bucket, but I like this one better. It's, uh, it looks nicer. Okay, since I showed you the so-called cementitious finish where it'll move, but it will hairline, I'll show you the, this particular product. Now this one, uh, wow, it shows you how cold it is out here. Anyway, this one flexes. Right now, if you could see my breath, that's pretty darn cold. It's about 40. Anyway, this one, uh, wow, that is cold. Anyway, when it, it can flex a lot more. So um, that's the difference, guys. So there's a difference of cost and performance. A lot of people say, well, gee, uh, how much more? So hopefully this video will explain the difference in um, the added cost and why. It is a better product, but again, folks, it will cost you a lot more. And if I'm spreading it, I'm taking the dirtiest pants I have, and I'm going to take the dirtiest shirt because this stuff when it gets on you it sticks to everything and by the way these are the packets that get mixed in to get the desired color anyway guys I hope that explains it a little bit okay guys I'll show you the final result of our color coat uh, this is very detailed very cut up but a lot of fun we, we had a great time applying this it's a fine float finish one of the most difficult finishes you can do on a house I'll show you this then I'll show you this last wall here it's not about really trying to show the whole job, but you get an idea. They finally removed the scaffold. It's been raining for the last five days and it's drizzling on us right now, but I thought I'd show you some of the results. This is a, a fine float acrylic finish, different from a cementitious finish. Uh, if the wall moves, this has a tendency to move with it and flex. Anyhow, if you have any questions about what I've been pointing out as far as a cementitious versus the acrylic finishes, feel free to email me. My name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. We thank you for watching, and as usual, guys, we'll see you on the next one. 
Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.